Alright guys, in the previous video we created a muzzle flash, in this video we're going to make a damage system for the player. Alright, so we can create a new script on the player and call it something like player health, player health, new script, player health, create an ad. And then we can open it up once Unity compiles. Alright, we can open it up. Alright, now we're in Visual Studio Code, so we can create two variables. Well, actually, we just need one for now, public float health, like this. We have to import the Unity Engine UI if you want this to be compatible with your UI. Alright, so we also need a public float again, float max health, or start health or something. I'm just going to call it max health and just set equal to 100 by default. And I'll probably do the same for the health. Alright, so in our start function, we can say max health, health is equal to the max health on our start function. Alright, so we also need a reference to a slider, so public slider health bar. We'll create this later. And then in our update function, we can say health bar dot value is equal to the health that should work, like so. Alright, so now we can also make a function called take damage void take damage if you want this to be referenceable by ai then you have to make it a public function but that should work all right so we can open close parentheses open close curly brackets and we need to pass in something and call it amount or something public float amount like this and then we can say health not health bar health oh i misspelled health there we go that's why change all occurrences health like this okay health minus equals the amount and then we need to do a check if health is less than or equal to zero we want to call a function called die i'll create this function real quickly public void not public void die like this and then we can call this function die like this and then we can just do print print hmm. let's just say print player is dead player is dead like this and then we can end that line in a semicolon like this and then it should be working so we so the script is already assigned to the player so we don't have to drag it to it all the health and stuff is normal we have to create this health slider though so that should be real simple i'm going to create in the top left corner so we can just do ui slider like this call it health bar there's going to be a couple things we have to remove first, so because like this is meant for like volume sliders, so we have to remove some handles, such as the handle, and then we can just slide this value around to make sure it works. I have to make sure that, okay, now that should work, but right now it doesn't fill up the entire thing for some odd reason, so we need to make it do a complete stretch like this. And then probably also, yeah, that works. Background. I'm going to make the background red. And probably like the fill area of red is so. Uh, I'm going to give it none for the UI sprite. And I'm probably just going to decrease the size of that a little bit. And I'll probably actually still make the background white like this. Alright, so we can assign that object to our player. And then we can run our game. And if I just decrease the health right now to like 15, we can see it's not updating for some reason. It's because this health value is by default 0 to 1. We need to make it 0 to 100 like so. So then this should be able to work. Health is just equal to like 15. You know, we can see it's working. Alright, so if you found this video informative, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It always helps out the channel and helps get videos like this recommended to others. Fun Uber out.